Hello everybody, this is Chevy Colorado Breaking In, part 2. Today we're going to the Everglades. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Well, we are on day two of our truck breaking in period here and uh, it's actually the following week from the last video you saw and uh, today we are just driving west on Tamiami Trail and uh, US 41 and uh, we're gonna go to the Everglades and uh, tackle some of these dirt roads they have no, not nothing to uh, off-road but you know they are gravel uh, roads and uh, I, I was always afraid to do them with old Kia I didn't, but I was afraid to. Now I have a truck, so it should be fine, right? Anyways, this is like the outskirts of Miami, going into the Everglades. Driving to the west, into the sunset, driving to the west. Passing the Mikasuki Casino, we are now officially out of Miami. Well, we are driving west on US 41, although not necessarily into the sunset since it is morning. As you can see, there are a bunch of places along this road where you can do airboat tours, and that's the Mikosuki flag, so we must be getting close to the village. 25 miles per gallon, not bad at all for the new Colorado. There's the Mikosuki restaurant where you can order stuff like frog legs and alligator bites, and uh, the Mikosuki gas station and general store, probably the most expensive gas on the whole Tamayami Trail. I made the mistake of putting gas there once. Only once. And here to the left, that's the Mikosuki Indian Village, the touristy part. Next, along old Tamayami Trail, it's actually the modern town where the Mikosuki actually live and their downtown and government center. This more wooded section of the Everglades is called Big Cypress National Preserve, and there are a few campgrounds, most of them primitive, except for this one here to the left, called Midway. They do have water and electric, but no cell phone service. Let's stop here at the Oasis Visitor Center to get a map, and this is actually a good place to get like an overview of the area and see lots of wildlife, including alligators. We actually didn't discover this place until we had an RV. The Everglades were just not on our radar living less than an hour away. The RV, in a way, forced us to explore our own backyard. There is the elusive uh, Florida panther. Check out the monarch butterfly. As I mentioned, there is usually lots of wildlife lingering around the visitor center area, and they even have this boardwalk, right by the southern terminus of the Florida Trail. And you can see alligators, of course, quite a few of them, actually. Fascinating creatures. And they can move pretty quickly when they really want to. So much wildlife, such diversity here. This is an anhenga, also called water turkey or snake bird. They are actually pretty cool. And here we have some kind of tortoise swimming underwater, coming up for air. 
Yeah, pretty fascinating. Well, today would have been a good day to do the Florida Trail. It's not too hot. It's sunny, beautiful. She said the mosquitoes were not that bad at the visitor center. And uh, by the way, if you want to see uh, Everglades wildlife, Oasis a visitor center is a good way. It's a good place to see a good sample of what this park has to offer for sure. We're gonna take Turner River Road here, which is one of the loop roads in the park. And uh, I was always kind of afraid to take it with all the Kia, but we've got a truck now, right? We should be okay. And here the pavement ends and the dirt begins, going at a sluggish 30, 35 miles per hour. But the new truck is handling it like nothing. Dirt road, as far as the eye can see. The road becomes a little rougher and narrower the further north we go. And that right there, that's I-75, the Alligator Alley, although there is no access from here. We've reached the end of the road, and there is a campground up here called Bear Island, so let's go check it out. It's all primitive, of course, but I hear it is a very popular area for ATVs and off-roading and all that. Only one camper in the whole campground. Oh, and this guy. Let's go back to civilization and have some lunch. Coming through. Coming through. Nada. Hello. We've decided to come to Everglades City for lunch. Well, I think the Colorado now has been properly broken in. Definitely. <laughs> Camellia Street Grill. Yeah, they have an airstream. It is one of those places where you order at the counter, get a number, and then they bring the food to your table. An IPA from Isla Morada. We ordered the stone crab tacos and the mahi tacos. Well, food was pretty tasty and I bet you in the winter it is nice to sit out here by the water. Pretty quirky place here. Now let's drive down to Chokoloski Island, one of the first places we came with Minitin in the trailer right after we bought it. The island is mostly residential, but there is this historic site called Smallwood Store. Nowadays, it is a museum. Admission, five dollars. 
This used to be one of Florida's last frontiers. In 1906, one Ted Smallwood opened this trading post here, which remained open until 1984. Then, in 1990, Ted's granddaughter reopened the store as a museum with actually 90% of the original items, so nowadays it is like a time capsule of Florida pioneer history. I am actually fascinated by all these items from yesteryear. Very, very cool. Yes, the year I was born. Guava tamarind sour orange were used cooked with local cane sugar and bottled with zinc caps. We had a sink just like that one in my childhood home back in Cuba. Kerosene heater. And that's where you, you where you would put your iron. It's really cool. that looks really rusted out and worn out, even more so than the one my grandmother had. This is the countertop at Bayside of Store. When it was hot, this spot offered the best breeze of the bay. Clarigus, here we are. Supply boats came from Punta Gorda and Fort Myers. I love seeing all these old contraptions, some which I remember, some I don't. oil-burning refrigerator, probably not dissimilar to an RV absorption fridge. There was a lot of things against us on my Fishing never was no, no real big deal as far as making a living. It's the way it, it was done. I have no idea what this thing is supposed to be. But it's a nice view here from the small wood store in Chocoloski Island. A good golf gasoline. When times were changing. Touch and his uncle, known as Dollar Bill, took time off for mullet fishing and experimented. Okay, so this is a gas pump for the boats, I guess. Thank you.
Well, it is time to go. That was certainly a fun trip back in time. There we go, 500 miles. The Colorado has been officially broken in. Now we can tow. That's a view of downtown Miami over 20 miles away you couldn't see before the construction of this bridge. Very cool. Well, now that we can tow, why don't we do that? I've been itching to hitch and get some nice pictures of Minitini and the Colorado and leave it up to me to decide to tow for the first time in Little Havana in the middle of rush hour traffic because that's how I roll. Contrary to popular belief, some people do actually use the crosswalks in Miami. We are going to Virginia Key on the Rickenbacker Causeway to take some pictures of the Colorado attached to Minitini, eventually to go into my new stickers and t-shirts and whatnot. Here they have this abandoned marine stadium with this huge empty parking lot, probably one of the most perfect places for this in Miami. Yeah, I think this will do. The skyscrapers in the distance, that's South Beach.
Before we go, I want to wish each and every one of you a very happy Thanksgiving holiday. I hope you spend it with all your loved ones and, uh, and have a great meal of celebration of, of so many things uh, to be thankful uh, for. I am probably going to spend it on the road, but still I am so thankful, first of all, because of my health. As, as one becomes older, you know, and the, your health becomes more ever present in your mind and you realize that, that if without health, Nothing else is really possible. None, none of the other pleasures of life are possible. So um, I'm very grateful for that. I am also immensely grateful to be able to live in this great country that has given me so many opportunities that I wouldn't have otherwise and, and um, the liberty to, to, to pursue uh, what I want to do. And um, finally, I'm thankful because all of you, because if you didn't watch uh, my videos, um, well, I, I wouldn't be here right now. I, 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 would, I wouldn't be able to, to do what I love and, and make it sustainable. So thank you. Thank you always uh, for, for being there on the other side of that camera. And not only there, because I, I, the other day I just had a great meetup with a bunch of you guys. And it was so much fun to finally be able to, to, to put faces and voices um, together. Uh, with 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 i mean we've seen each other many times online but it, nothing nothing it, it, nothing is a substitute uh, for a face-to-face -face en encounter and um and that is great and i'm gonna start doing more of those and finally this sunday there there will not be a travel video i'm taking a break you know i'm on the road traveling but i do have a cyber monday announcement uh, uh, micro air is having a great uh, special for cyber monday so stay tuned uh, for that one and um, the travel videos will resume in the following week a lot of good stuff coming up until next time thank you so much uh, for watching and see you on the road